My name is Ned Smythe, and um, I left New York in 94 and moved to Sag Harbor, and then built a studio on Shelter Island. Well, I think this, sh this show, Artists Choose Parish, is really interesting and smart. Um, there's such a community out here of artists that are pr international, most of them. Um, and I think it's great to have to have them in the show, in the museum. And I think it's really great to see who and what they choose to go uh, with their work. So it does, it really solves two big things. It shows kind of uh, the collection, which is harder for most museums to show. And uh, it shows kind of work that people are doing. So I think that particularly was a, a really smart and the fact that there are three shows so that it's almost a year, uh, so you can have quite a few people in that and also see a lot of the collection. I think that was a super idea. When you asked me to do this, I kind of went, let's see how that works. So, um, and this work, which was architectural, became architectural, was way before postmodernism. I then did a show that was very cloistered. Uh, and then I did, after that, because Dennis Oppenheim had said it looks Catholic, uh, I then did a, a show called The Garden where the capitals weren't architectural, but were palms. And so uh, a show I did with Brad Davis called The Garden. Um, Art architects began to copy those and put them in their buildings. And, and that would have been, you know, in the early 80s. And then they began to talk about postmodernism in architecture. But they were stealing stuff from me and putting it in their buildings. And I had done, this work was done in 73. And I think postmodernism, I don't know exactly when it became a name for, a pe you know, it was in the early 80s, at least. Um, so I just thought it would work great in this particular building. So because this came out minimal art, I thought, oh, I'm going to look. And I went through every piece in the parish collection looking for a minimal artist. And there was a Flavin, which is minimal, but it had already been chosen. And um, there, there, you, as far as I know, I couldn't find one minimal artist, not a Judd, not, not any of these guys. And I just thought, so I was kind of like, what, this work all came out of that. What am I gonna, you know, now what do I do? And then I came on Louise Nevelson, and the height of the Louise is kind of the same height as these. I had known her, I had seen her work, and I knew where she lived. And I used to pass it going to my first studio on Delancey Street. Um, so it's a wall piece, like these pieces. There's some depth, and it's one color. So it just seemed to me the closest thing. I mean, it's not about minimalism, but um, it's certainly related, I thought. So I thought that worked really well. This has a much more almost industrial feeling of boxes, but things in the boxes. So it's more interested than just a box. Um, and, you know, cement is this industrial and and I can remember when I first showed these, people said, you know, I think of concrete as so cold. These are so warm. And I, when you see it in a mold and it's pulled off, they usually have a watertight surface. So the mold, the outside of it has this kind of like trowel surface, which is very bright and it's a skin. Um, I cast them uh, I 
troweled the top, but I showed the soft side where the water from plywood sucked it off, and so they became much softer. I find the parish has gotten more and more interesting. Uh, when it was in Southampton, I mean, in, in town, you know, there were things that were kind of interesting, but it's just seemed all over the place. And um, I just think that, you know, with the community out here, and there's so many people that I would never come out to the Hamptons. I would get invited to come out and I'd go, I don't wear pink pants and play golf. I'm not going to, I, I really thought of it as kind of an extension of boarding school. So I wouldn't come. And then I was talked into it by an Austrian, uh, uh, Australian couple who we met in Tribeca and their son and my older son. And they invited us out. And again, I said, no, I'm not going. And they said, oh, give me a break, Ned. The boys will have a good time. And when we went down, to the beach in, in Gibson Beach in Sagaponic, I ran into everyone I knew. So I, we kind of decided, and we wanted to leave New York, and we went, well, maybe this is the place to go.